What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon. And in today's video guys, I'm gonna talk about like cleanup attacks. Um, when attacks go wrong uh, for your teammates and you can go and look at their attack, see if it was viable and try to actually do, you know, fix what was wrong with it and make a three star for your team. Um, there's sometimes that uh, people don't use the same attack per se. Let's say uh, if a guy, you know, laloons the base he fails and a guy comes back in and hogs the base. Well, essentially that is two fresh hits on the base because the hogger uh, is not going to see where the big bombs are because a guy looned it. So there's times that you, if you can rework the attacker's uh, attempt and it was a good attempt and you can fix it, that's the best thing to do. So right here we're going to look here at Tyke's attempt with a red witch on uh, number 15. And right here is pretty standard. Everything's, uh, you know, looking pretty good here at this point. The only thing I would say is, is right here, these witches, uh, he's not leaving a breadcrumb for his Valkyries uh, to get in. And he's using wall breakers. Like, his attack is going to be a little bit different than mine, actually. I actually cleaned up this attack, and you'll see uh, what I'm talking about here. But he's holding his, uh, he's holding his Valkyries here, and here they come. But other than that, it's looking really good. I mean, his funnel's made, but right here is what got tight. The queen and the bowlers, and it's just where he put them, guys. If he would have put them more over uh, to the to the right, they would have went in the core. And guys, this attack ends up being really good, but it just does not get the base down because of that. It would have definitely three-starred uh, had the bowlers and the queen went into the CC. I mean, it went into the core. I'm sorry. Apologize on that. We're going to speed it up because that's where it went wrong. And we'll just watch it play out. And as you can see, it gets a really huge percentage. And I think he just runs out of time, which his queen wasn't going to get it. Nope, his queen died. So he, he got a 93%. All right, so Tyke got that 93%. So I looked at that attack and I was like, you know, that's a solid attack, um, but I'm gonna change it. So right away, uh, my troop comp is very similar to Tyke's, um, but I got rid of the jump spells. Uh, I felt like that uh, didn't need wall breakers, got rid of them. Felt like that I could just rage my Valks in, um, get them to break through uh, and create all the holes for my, uh, for my bowlers. Uh, and, and the violence of the rage is much better uh, and you got three of those instead of just one and a heal and two jumps with the other attack that Tyke done. So let's take a look at my attack and, and ultimately guys, the thing that I wanted to change was I wanted to make sure my bowlers and my queen went into the funnel, went into the core of the base. So let's see how my attack's uh, done. And I, and I do leave a breadcrumb up here as I call it. Um, but right here, I'm starting uh, my witches on the sides, and this part is going well. And right here, I put just a, a witch on either side here, but I'm trying to leave these buildings um, for my Valkyries to latch on and push them right into the base. And I start dropping my Valkyries really quick because the witches were going to take down uh, that. And there, watch this rage, guys. This is really important. So right there, my Valks have entered. I'm going to heal. Uh, initially pretty fast right there. Valks are still alive at this point. I'm gonna rage them again here in a minute. Now I lost uh, I lost some bowlers. Uh, they did blow the funnel right there uh, but I still have bowlers in inside the base. So I'm gonna rage them again and my queen has elected. She went in the funnel but she is going to leave the funnel. Right here I rage my bowlers and my king the Valkyries are all played out at this point, but my queen is still up. The witches are still up. And what's going to end up happening is the queen, uh, due to the Lava Hound, the queen gets uh, kind of pulled out of the base. But it's okay at this point. Everything's still looking good. I got the core shot I wanted, and all that's really left that's threatening uh, this attack from three-starring is this Expo. Uh, but there's so many troops left, guys. Just look. Look at the witches coming around. They're they're closing in. 
I'm just going to speed it up, guys, because we know the name of this game. It's a wrap. I phased the queen to get on in the wall. Just, you know, a time thing. Just didn't want her to run out of time. And there you go. So that's, that's basically what this video is going to be about. I'm going to do some more examples. But I just kind of warned you guys to watch when an attack goes wrong. And is that attack viable? Can you fix it? Can you make it three star for your team? So let's move on to the next attack. Okay, and on this next attack here, you can see that Wi-Fi has got a shattered uh, Gohobo built right here for this base. And let's see uh, where it goes wrong. And I think it, I think he has a like a really bad funnel here. I think what ends up happening is he loses his his king to the funnel and everything just kind of trickles down uh, and he does not get the push into the base that he needed because uh, I remember I remember watching this attack live and that's that's where it went wrong so here comes he's gonna lock a golem in over here uh, by this archer tower there it is and at this point you know it's looking pretty good wall breakers coming in He got the break in the wall. And right here, everything is looking really good at this point, guys. I mean, everything went in just like he wanted. But right here, I think, uh, watch this king. As soon as he gets done here, he just blows the funnel. He does not take the jump because the closest thing was this gold storage. So he did not get that push into the base like he wanted. And unfortunately, I think that's pretty much one of the deciding factors that cost him the three star. But right here, here comes his hogs. He's like, well, on with the show. Got to get it going. Queen done her thing. She took down the Lava Hound. But overall, at this point, it's looking like, you know, hey, he might could still pull this off. But this early heal here probably uh, was not good. Because this Tesla farm, I think, ultimately is what dooms this hog attack. And right here, those hogs weren't in the heel, and that's ripped the dream. It wasn't the Tesla farm, it was the, uh, the bomb over there without the hogs not in the heel. But Wi-Fi was thinking they were going to move through a little bit quicker. We'll speed it up, because that one is a wrap. And what we'll do is take a look, and I think Rice Crispy cleaned this up, so let's take a look at his hit. Okay, so Rice Krispie's army comp, you're looking right away and saying, Dragoon, this is not the same army comp. You're right, it's not. But Rice Krispie looked at what Wi-Fi did, figured out, hey, if I add a little bit of a queen walk here uh, with basically what he done, you know, change it around a little bit, I think I can get this base down. So basically, uh, you know, Wi-Fi showed Rice where all the traps were and where all the big bombs were. And so Rice was armed with that knowledge and he put this plan together. So let's take a look at this. He's going right after the queen with this walk. He's got one rage, so he's not planning on doing a whole lot after that. And he may even elect to ignore the hound. Uh, let me see where the pull is on that. Yeah, see this queen walk should not... Uh, get into the hound's range unless he wall breaks in, which he does have wall breakers, and he may elect to go in the queen's compartment. But and here comes that rage. He's going to deal with this queen right now. Went ahead and phased, got her done. So now he can start his phase two, and he's coming in down here at the bottom, and he's going to attack that king. Just kind of trying to work through some of this DPS. His Queen's healers are getting targeted by that bow, but they're out of range finally. Yeah, that was getting dangerous. And he's got two jumps, guys, so he's planning on getting a lot of value out of this push in. And right here, you can see his healers are almost dead, but it doesn't matter because he's going to be tanked. His Queen is going to be tanked right here. There's that poison's gonna take down those lava pups. Queen is doing her job. 
there's a big bomb out of the way right there guys so he's already got uh you know less uh for the hogs to worry about king's ability right here hopefully gets into that expo moat <clears throat> And the queen has uh, decided to step out of the base. Here comes his hogs into the Tesla farm, which we knew about. Queen is assisting the hogs, which is great. He's got one more heal here. His hogs are kind of red, so he had to go ahead and put that heal down. And that's their biggest detriment there. There's another bomb. These hogs are golden right now. He's just got a few more defenses to run through, and they are solid. He threw this giant out. Look at this, guys. Threw the giant out with a skelly to distract the bow. Oh, that is so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to speed it up, guys, because this base is a wrap. Rice uh, seen what, what happened to Wi-Fi and was able to come up with this plan to deal with this base. Great job, Rice. Really nice attack. And I got one more example of that this war uh, to where similar attacks were used. And I'm going to show you that right now. All right, on this last example here, guys, of a cleanup attack, um, and there's a golem in progress, we've got a stoned gohobo here by Bazooka. And what happens here, guys, is the worst thing that can happen to any attacker. Um, no matter how hard you plan, if this happens, you are doomed. It is the dreaded wall breaker fail. Now right here you can see everything's looking okay at this point. Uh, Bazooka's making his funnel. Now I don't agree with uh, wizards in the middle of the funnel uh, because it does not leave breadcrumbs for your uh, troops to lock onto and go in the base. So right there, there's one wall breaker right there, right? There's a second one. And I just think it he waited too late here and he did not hit the same tile. Now watch the next wall breakers. Watch this they go to a different tile and so are a different spot so it's a wall breaker fail at this point uh, there's no breadcrumb that's why the king is, is rolling out um, there was nothing here to tie him in and so now the attack is completely in disarray at this point so bazooka is like he's trying to figure out what he's going to do here so he ends up dropping the golem uh, with the bowlers and he's going to get some value off of this but he's not going to get the value that he needed to push all the way across the base. And then the queen, of course, blows the funnel. So that's even worse. Um, but right here, he's, he's, uh, he's trying to heal these guys and get them through. But there's, uh, there's nothing to keep him going the direction he wants because he only has one heal or one uh, jump. And uh, so I doubt I would have healed him there. I think I would have tried to get... The hogs in play, but with the queen uh, still in, there's just no way that the hogs will survive that. So he could probably start playing his hogs now, and here he comes, that's what he does. Uh, because the queen is zeroed in on the bowlers and the golem, and so is the king. And so now the hogs are pretty roasted. And we're just going to speed it up here, because... Uh, basically that's it he just doesn't have enough steam so basically that what doomed bazooka's attack was a wall breaker fail but other than that he got 71 percent so it was a viable attack and let's see um how rice or i'm sorry how io starter cleans up this attack and if you were wondering i did say io starter that is the revolution he's the man of many accounts and as you can see here guys he has got the same troop comp that bazooka had he has got a stoned hobo and he's gonna roll the space but now notice uh the difference guys he's got two jumps so that he can kind of steer these golems and steer the push into the base where he wants it to go um but he's he's also got a contingency if the if he has a wall breaker fail he can jump in from the outside um and still get into a lot of the base with the second jump so he does have a backup plan here. So let's take a look and see how the revolution goes in. And he goes right in the same area that Bazooka did. He got a bomb right there. Great job. Second golem coming in. Notice how he leaves this breadcrumb in the center. Uh, it's just a, it's just a, a crumb trail for your uh, kill squad. It's a really good idea. 
kind of a funnel basic. Here comes his last golem. Now I'm waiting for his wall breakers here. Needs to get those wall breakers going and here they come. And there goes the last of them. And here comes his bowlers and his royals. And notice he, he, he put the where he deployed them, that's where the wall breakers were, and they locked right in and they went into the core of the base. Now he's got that rage down. He's going to get the value that, that Wi-Fi did not get from his push into the base. King's ability right now. He's going to get the queen here. King's going to redirect. King does not get the queen down, but, the, uh, but his queen will take her down for sure. And she'll get the enemy queen as well. Now he's already started his hogs. He's just kind of uh, keeping an eye on his uh, his queen at this point. And he's going to phase her right now. King is down. Here comes the remaining hogs. There is a bomb tower, unfortunately, but it's not going to matter because it's not going to take them down in time. But they did not save the queen. I'm going to speed it up, though, because Io Starter got it done. Great job. Excellent attack. Yep, all the hut. There you go. And guys, uh, this video was kind of... I wanted to make this video for my teammates as well as your teammates. I want to show you guys sometimes if you can correct the attacker's mistake uh, and use a similar attack, you, you pretty much know where most of the traps are at that point, most of the bombs. If you are comfortable with that style of attack, I would advise you to try to emulate it and improve it because ultimately that's what happened here. There was one deviation there with Rice's attack where he elected to use a uh, three healer queen walk and it, it added to that attack and it worked out. Uh, but all in all, it was very similar to the original attack. And so ultimately uh, that's a method of cleaning up bases and, and that way, like, like I was telling you at the beginning, you know, if you, if you go behind an air attacker um, and you're a ground guy, you're really not going to get anything but Tesla positions. You're not really going to know where the bombs are. It's still going to be a fresh hit for you. But if you go behind an air attacker with an air attack, then you pretty much know where all the air traps are and everything that's pertinent to your attack. And vice versa for ground. So, especially if you can do a very similar attack, like if the attacking method uh, just failed because of one reason or another. Like in this video, like I showed you, there was wall breaker fails, uh, there was funnel fails, things like that. Things that you can improve and, and make happen in your attack and you can get it done. And guys, I hope this video was helpful for you because ultimately that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help my team, I'm trying to help your team, I'm trying to help us all be three-star attackers. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I am out of here.